<laughs> Welcome back to the program once again. Of course, if you're just joining us, this is Friday Briefing right here on Katie and Ali. I did promise you we'll have somebody who's going to literally drum the message home. <laughs> She's, she's well known with her initials. That is MDQ. Yes, sir. Mudoni, the drama queen. Yes, sir. Welcome, Mudoni. Thank you. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Very unique outfit. Thank you. Uh -huh. I so like it. So this is your first time at KTN? <laughs> yeah, this is my first time at KTN, uh -huh. my first time on the Friday briefing, so yes. I'm very excited. So you are feeling at home? Um, yeah, I'm comfortable. It's such a beautiful studio. You're so. welcome. <laughs> so, of course, this is 2018. Yes. This is the first Friday, actually. Yes. The year you're literally opening 2018 for yes. us. Yeah. Yes. And uh, how was 20s? How was business for you? I'm sure mm. you, you wear two hats as an yeah. entrepreneur yeah. as well as a musician. Yeah. So let's start with music. How yeah. was it for you in 2017? So 2017 was really great for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I went back into making uh, music fully. Like, I spent a lot of time uh, in the studio making music. Mm -hmm. I produced with my squad here, Fena, my own. Blinky, yeah. Kagwe Mungai. So that was a really fun. We had like two really big songs mm -hmm. here last year. Mm -hmm. And then I produced with these two guys mm -hmm. in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And we've been recording. So we finished recording our album at the beginning of 2017. Yes. We even thought that we were going to release the album Mm -hmm. at the end of 2017, but mm -hmm. Kenya was on hiatus. Oh, yes, so because of the election and everything. So, so before you tell your fans, of course, <laughs> and ask what yes. you have in store for us in yeah. 2018, uh, of course, you're going to perform one of the songs I for will. us here. Yeah, Which one perform. do you prefer? I'm going to perform Suzy Noma. <laughs> Suzy Noma. So many people have been asking, what <laughs> yes. is Suzy Noma all about? What is it all about? about? Yeah. Is so it Suzy with yes. Noma as in dangerous? Suzy, uh -huh. Suzy uh -huh. Noma, okay. which means she's a bomb. Uh -huh. um, but really for me, Suzy Noma is about female friendships and female partnerships. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that we learn very early growing up in African homes mm -hmm. is that women do things collectively, right? Yes. The trauma of the, your mom's trauma is the one that puts the money together and mm -hmm. buys the plates in the house. It's the one that puts children through school. Mm -hmm. And so I've been thinking about this, that as the new generation, now mm -hmm. we are the ones who are going about, we're starting to become the, the mamas. I get it. So you're celebrating um, women. So literally. it's, yeah, can we do something more when those female friendships come together? Mm -hmm. Can we start businesses together? Can we build empires together, that, right? That, that sounds like a very good <laughs> message. And so many people are accusing <laughs> Kenyan artists of lacking content in their music. Yeah. I mean, you're setting the bar high. Um, I think that there's a lot of people who have content. Mm -hmm. I think that we often overlook content. Yeah. And I think that... Um, because sometimes the content is not presented in a way that makes people see that you're actually saying something meaningful, mm -hmm. right? So it's easy to think. Does it have, like, <laughs> in a way, these artists package themselves? Because let's face yeah. it, a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of Kenyans prefer what they call bongo flavors from Tanzania uh, as compared to Kenyan music. Mm. Why do you think that's the case? I mean, that's a, that's a fact. I'm sure you've had this question before. Um, so first, I want to declare... I, Categorically, and I'm calling it 2018 is a year for Kenyan music. There's mm -hmm. no question about that. Kenyan yes. music is going global this year. Mm -hmm. I'm certain of it. Um, as a person who's been working in the music business a long time, my role, my job in this market mm -hmm. is I'm a tastemaker. I go ahead with uh, the brands that we create. Our mm -hmm. job is to taste make. We're always the ones who are predicting the next. And I'm definitely telling you for a fact, based on all the music spaces I've been around and all the artists since 2015, that's mm -hmm. when the revolution began. Yeah. 27, 2018 is the year Kenyan music goes global. Speaking about revolution, <laughs> before you go over to the <laughs> other sector yes. that you're active in, that is entrepreneurship, you're one of the artists who are very much politically aware, I'm sure. And yes. I've, looked, I've watched some of your <laughs> interviews before. And uh, these are some of the messages you've yeah. Went ahead and cut it in some of your music, right? Yeah. So I think the thing is, I'm, I've just been very, I'm socially aware. Mm -hmm. I think that every citizen should be socially aware. You should be aware about your environment and about the things that are going on. Mm -hmm. Kenya, for a long time, is very much dictated mm -hmm. by the politics, right? So when we're in an election year, everything comes to a halt and we observe the political process, we participate, we whatever, we engage with the process in one way or another. Mm -hmm. So it, it's impossible for me as an artist who is aware of what's going on in society not mm -hmm. to take some of those messages and put it in the music. Mm -hmm. I think that one of the things that I did very well in 2017 was to be able to articulate the things that all of us feel and know uh, by observation, mm -hmm. by experience, and put it in a, in a track, mm -hmm. but the track is banging. So the, the, the song itself is like really good to listen to. Mm -hmm. But when you also listen to the text of the music, it's really the truth. Mm -hmm. And I found a lot of resonance with a lot of Kenyans. People would just be like in my DMs all day telling me their aspirations for Kenya. A lot of young people who just like want so much more for this country. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that's something that an artist can really do. An artist can really speak 
with society mm -hmm. on behalf of society. Now, don't put me on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make me perfect. It doesn't make me any better than anybody. Mm -hmm. It just means that I am able to see the things that we talk about in our mm -hmm. private spaces and put, and it put them to a tune. Yeah. Exactly. Well said. And I'm sure those who have been sending you DMs <laughs> and everything are watching. So what do you have in store for them this year? So 2018, mm -hmm. like I said, we're going global. I'm definitely going global. Where's my mic? Uh -huh. Camera. Yeah. There you go. Where's your camera? <laughs> I'm definitely uh -huh. going global. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. But for real, so the album comes out mm -hmm. in March. Mm -hmm. March of 2018. Yes. Yeah, so in like year. a few weeks. Uh -huh. So we put out the album, and I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One final question. As yes. an entrepreneur, I'm, yeah. I understand you are the CEO of Black and, mm -hmm. bl uh, uh, Blanket and, and Wine. wine. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a, a tongue twister there. Yes. So what more do you have? So... Um, one of the things that you will notice that we've started doing since uh -huh. 2016 is to give the platform a lot more back to Kenyans. Uh, there's a new wave of Kenyan artists, and mm -hmm. that's who we are rooting for. That's yeah. we're really about the new wave artists of Kenyan music, the new generation mm -hmm. artists. Uh, we also have another festival called Africa Nouveau, and mm -hmm. this one is um, about. There's a new one now. There's a new one that, that's in February, February 2nd to 4th, mm -hmm. and it's called Africa Nouveau. So with our platforms, there are only two things we do. Mm -hmm. With blankets and wine, our job is to open all the markets that we can in Africa for Kenyan artists mm -hmm. to go there. With Africa Nouveau, it's to congregate the whole of Africa to Kenya because I really think that Kenya is Kenya is everything. Mm -hmm. I've traveled in Africa. I've worked around here. I know for a fact Kenya is everything. We have mm -hmm. the human capital. We have the potential. We have the infrastructure. If we could just get our act right, Kenya is really, it's, it's everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Very intelligent, Mudoni, the drama queen, there right here on Friday briefing. And she's going to perform one of our hit, is it called yes, hit singles? It's a hit single. Of 2017, <laughs> yes. Suzy Noma, right? Suzy Noma. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> Sitting at the corner. Me and Susie no more. We ain't got no worries. We are looking like the owners. Sipping on Coronas, looking at the phones. All them pretty boys come and tell us how they want us. Mambo ni kungoja, aki utangoja. Start the my time, saku wasting na vi oja. Planning how we want to take over the world. Riding on the drums and the club and the bass goes boom. Shake it down, shake it down like we tell you, we tell you, Simba. Show it be the way to go. Go and grab somebody, move your body. Should somebody be the way to go? All this I know, all this I know, all this I know. Oh, hey, all this I know, all this I know, all this I know. Hey, hey. Sitting at the corner, me and Susie Noma. We ain't got no worries, we are looking like the owners. Sipping on Coronas, looking at the phones. All them pretty boys come and tell us how they want. Mamboni Kungoja, Aki Utangoja. Sitting at the time, Saku Westin Avioja. Planning how we want to take over the world. Riding on the drums and the clap on the bass goes. Hey, shake it down, shake it down. We tell you, we tell you, Simma. Hey, shake it down, shake it down. Like. We tell you, we tell you, Simma. Hey. Hey. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> amazing Thank stuff, you. amazing stuff. Now I see all your fans <laughs> are looking after you. And then there's another single hit. Um, hit yeah. single. <laughs> I keep on saying single hit. Single hit. Hit single. <laughs> hit single, yeah. Uh -huh. So we you have, have Kenyan one? message. Kenyan message. Now, I'm this is where you've raised political stuff. Yes. It's just <laughs> corruption, nepotism. Yeah. So, what is it all about in a nutshell? So, Kenyan message is just uh, awareness. Mm -hmm. I think, me, I think that there's no savior who's coming to save Kenyans. Yes. We are the savior. Because we are the ones who cause the problems. Mm -hmm. We're the ones who check out of the pro political process. Mm -hmm. Once we elect people, we forget about them until it's five years later. Mm -hmm. Then we start having arguments about who we should elect, what did you do? Yes. I think for me, Kenyan message was really a call to mm -hmm. action for people to really think for themselves, to really make decisions for themselves and to mm -hmm. become active citizens. So how did your fans, of course, most of them are Kenyans, <laughs> how did they receive yeah. the music? Did they get any message out of it? Or was the yeah, I think one of that, that's been really 
one of the most encouraging responses I've gotten to music because I think sometimes when you have like a like a hot song, people mm -hmm. are like, oh, the song is fire. No. But with Kenyan Message, I feel like it really sparked a conversation that there was a lot of... Um, the response really was that there's a lot of people who actively care about Kenya yeah. and that there's a lot of young people who mm -hmm. really, really see this thing for what it is, mm -hmm. right? And, 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 and I think, and I think, sorry to cut you short, no and I think you had a message for politicians, you know, they're spending <laughs> in big hotels at the expense of... Can you talk us through that? Uh, well, now it even feels almost redundant sometimes, you know, because th there was a moment, there was our opportunity to like really do something radical and transformative in in that last election and i'm not saying um for either side i mean mm -hmm. like we as an electorate mm -hmm. to really go to the ballot and in the privacy of the ballot box ask yourself does this really represent development is this really the best choice for me right does this really represent progress mm -hmm. And I feel like in some places we really we really won, mm -hmm. right? It was fun like to see some counties throwing out all their fake MCAs and yes. putting in like real people. Uh -huh. So that was cool. So I feel like there's progress. Mm -hmm. But then you know, there's a lot a lot of recycling, there's a lot of same old, same old mm -hmm. on all sides of the divide. Yes. I, and and <laughs> I like so how you're politically aware <laughs> and do you think this is something that cuts across all artists, especially in Kenya? Mm. I think all Kenyans. Mm -hmm. You know, Kenya is that place where you can be like in the bar. Yes. And at 9 p.m. And politics. They turn off the music to put news. Mm -hmm. I think Kenyans are very politically savvy. Mm -hmm. When you're in a taxi, the first thing that the taxi person and you talk about is like some politics or something. Mm -hmm. What is also interesting for me, and I hope that there's going to be much more of this, is mm -hmm. more and more people recognizing that outside of the political side that you are on, wherever, or that you continue to be on, whether your guy won or whether your guy lost, lost we now have like real things. So for example, we are now flipping an education system. Mm -hmm. That's real, that, that is generational impact. What does that really mean? So how do we engage with that process? Mm -hmm. How do we get our voices heard? How do we participate in making mm -hmm. the process work out? You know, mm -hmm. that's the level of discourse I would hope is going to happen in Kenya. And I think you've summed up this message in your <laughs> Hit single. Yes. Let me just get it straight now. Kenyan <laughs> message. <Yes>. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, I think you're ready to perform that for us. Sure. And there's someone who said, you know, in Kenya people don't lose elections. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever yeah. you lose election, well, you'll just say it, it has been stolen and everything. Yeah. Anyway, without further ado, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is with only drama queen and she's ready to perform. Kenyan, Kenyan message. message. Yes. <laughs> okay. Tango wila siku tukuelect Aushkagi si moment suwezi connect Nime kuwa ni kisaka an appointment Nime kuwa ni kisafa disappointment Eh, siku wizi su kwa naga kwa teli Si mao bao wewe lunch o teli Panganga panganga na mapoti beli Kani meni, watch meni Wana kupangia waki kusalimia Na we uwezi noti sata uwezi dhania Siku wizi kanti yote venye kuna nja Kila mtu wana fikiria tuchopa Don't push me Cause I'm close to the edge I'm trying not to lose my head Hey, me come a jungle sometimes Me me uwana bona sija and the under Me come a jungle sometimes Me me uwana bona sija and the under Me come a jungle sometimes Me me uwana bona sija and the under Me come a jungle sometimes Me me uwana bona sija and the under Na wale wana doni one percent Si waonaga siku ya kuliparent Sisi uku wagandani ya predicament Biggest spender government Uncharged official The miracles are also artificial Congregation workers are superficial Wanataka ule mungu mu beneficial Unofficial, kitambulisho Unaeza get in a few days Unaeza get in a few ways Unaeza get bila delays Nowadays Ya kuna ama doctor Na gava yali jusisi wa konjwa Tukienda private Tutape so ni obvious nani Ana say don't push me Cause I'm close to the edge I'm trying not to lose my head Ni kama jungle sometimes Mimi uwa na bona sija enda enda Ni kama jungle sometimes Mimi uwa na bona sija enda enda Ni kama jungle sometimes Hakuna dog kama futa 
I feel like dancing already. Oh, I should yeah. have danced already. I can see you dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I well, dancing. Uh, you'll stay with us. I'll not sure. release you for now. Of course, that is Mudoni, the drama queen, right here on Friday uh, briefing. She's going to perform another hit single. Okay. Hey, I've crammed it. <laughs> right in the program. So stay with us. We're going to take a very short break. We'll be right back.